my fantabulous viewers of Musical Meloetta. I'm Musical Meloetta, and we're gonna, you're gonna listen to me voice my old TPI script, episode one, written by Zoro the Wild Pokemon. So thank you so much, Zoro, for writing this, and I will begin after I catch my breath. Welcome, viewers, fans, and friends, and of course, enemies. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to bore you, but I will give you the outline of this brand new season. 36 teenagers, all complete strangers, join this camp in the hopes of winning 100 grand. But this isn't your ordinary season of drama. We have many twists and doors. We hope you enjoy. Let's meet our challenges, shall we? Hit it! Before we bring in our campers, let's meet our co-host, Arcanine. Howdy, mate. I'll make sure to make this camp laugh a living hell. And with that, here comes the first one. Cynical Pichu and Baneri enter. Hello. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm actually on TV. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Well, you seem cheery. How about you two? How does it feel to be here? Um, me? I'm good, and Hey, I'm so good. How about you? Good? Good. Okay, where do I sleep? Um... Okay, who's next? Come on, girls. I'll show you some fun. I mean, your dormitories. Everyone ex ex except Amalga. Eevee, Spio, Purloin, Buizel, Pachirisu, Fennekin, and then Arena enter. <clears throat> Amalga. How are you, Eevee? Like, oh my god. I'm super fantabulous. Okay, how are the rest of you? I'm Spio! Okay, first of all, ill, both of you. Second of all, I'm Herloin. I'm smart, nice, pretty. Pretty! Disregarding all the retards, I'm Weasel. I'm really good, thanks for asking. Did someone say Pop-Tart? Oh, by the way, I'm Pachirisu! I'm so, 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 so happy, and I didn't get excited very quickly and talk a bit. I like Pop-Tarts! Hello, everyone. Pleasure to meet, make your acquaintance. My name is Fennekin, and for your information, I do not like shells. I hate them, in fact. Hate them. Hello, it's me, Nidorina. It's me, I'm Nidorina. I'm so psyched to be here. Okay, then. Go along, everyone. I remember the good old days, back when the old show was an ad. Everyone except Amalga and exits, and the, then the flashback plays. It's a mag mortar, and I leave you on talking, and the mag mortar gets very mad. Amalga dresses as Warlix. He here he comes. I ah! He flies off. I still can't believe he's scared of his own kind. Next scene. Now for the rest of the campers, I'll let them introduce himself. As for the rest, meh. Aron, Binda, Skitty, Mudkip, and Per Ugly enter. Hey everyone, I'm Aron. Hey, I'm Spinda. Hello, Mudkip here. Nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Helen. The best. I'm not Helen. Hello, I'm Hagley. The best fucking you ever meet. Mwah. Hey. Wink, wink. I had to bleep out the word because I'm not saying that. Everyone gathers in a group waiting for Morgan to give instructions. Um, Drillberg, why are you on me? I can fly! Okay, anyways, I got the teens, but the twist is the campers are already chosen. The captains are already chosen. I messed that line up. Oshawa, Oshawa does not think that's good for him. Okay, 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 now to reveal the teams. Amaga reveals the teams and then dismisses the campers. Hey guys, I was thinking we should totally become friends and, you know, make an alliance. By the way, Deerling gathers Taurus, Stunky, Esper, and Perugly in the scene. I forgot to say that. Of course, but I'd have to be the leader. Uh-huh, sure. Yay, I have friends! Sure, I guess. I'll join. I'll show you, little lady. I can be such a use to you. I can be a use to such a goddess like yourself. <laughs> Good. Scene cuts to Manaphy and Baneri and Nidorina talking. OMG, did you see Weasel? Actually, he's kind of a jerk. Bedtime girl. Don't want to go after that guy. Like, OMG, so many cute guys though. Yes! 
Yas, Yas girls, Yas, seeing Gusto a field where Pichu is talking with Swirlik, uh, Zero, and Lil Pup. Beautiful, I flying away. Help! Get away! Big Teeny. Wait! I need to talk to her! Lil Pup. Are you three okay? You seem a bit sad. I saw Swirlix today. <laughs> Are you crying? I wish I could cry, but I ran out of tears long ago. Huh? We are outcasts. Even if we try to fit in, we can't. Nowhere. Not even here. I know, right? Don't say that. We are forgotten. So pink and fluffy. I'll tell you what. I'll help you with your problems. I will prove you all that you aren't forgotten. Alliance? Sure, we can team team forgotten. Really? <sighs> like it'll make a difference. Together? Together. Together. <sighs> Fine. Together. Scene cuts to Jatini and a shaman. I think this might be creepy, but here's my number, so... Call me, maybe? Uh, I gotta go. Seeing cuts to Shaman, Beautify, bumping into each other. I think I lost him. Hey, are you running for a creepy boy too? Sadly, yes. Wait. Oh, crap. Big Teeny flies in. Hi. <laughs> Seeing cuts to Skinny and Swata, the Starbucks lady. I love your... <laughs> so yummy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Me. I'm gonna go. Abalga is in her office talking to someone on the phone, and this was originally for a collaboration episode that did happen and now is gone. Thank you so much for doing that. Abalga in Starbucks. Give me my food. I know, right? Hey, up. It hasn't even been five minutes! Just want to give them their orders. Seeing cuts to the cliff jumping challenge. Jump! Aron jumps. Ah! Mike Kip jumps. YOLO! Buizel. Nice! Seeing us to, the, to them in the water, then going ashore. Nice! Who do you think comes up? Hmm. Thank you, Aron. You gave me the confidence to jump. Don't sweat it. I'm always here for a good friend. All in seeing go get to shore. Woo! Seeing us in the water, telling Ross to jump. I hate life. Just go. Seeing Custis, Swirlix, and Perlin jumping and real and cynical at the, on the ledge. Wee! Ah! Come on, cynical, you can do it. I. Come on, cynical, you can do it. I can't. Watch me. Woo! Nope. Seeing Custis, elimination ceremony for the team Typhlosion. You all lost. Thanks to Cynical. Thanks to Cynical. Shut up, you perv. Leave her alone. Okay, time for the marshmallows. If you get one, you are safe. Zenora already has one. Riolu. Finnegan. Swirlix. Vulpix. You are all safe. Okay, the next marshmallow goes to... She tosses it to everyone except Shinx and Skitty. What? What did I do? You're ugly. Aww. And the last marshmallow goes to tosses to shakes shanks. No! Bye Skitty, time to leave time to leave to the dock. You will regret this Well that happened. Anyways, what will happen on next time on TPI? Only you can find out. I hope you enjoyed the first episode. Hope to see you next time. And then I had a tribute to one of my neighbors who had died that uh, three years ago she had died at that point and I wanted to honor her I'm gonna pull up my last episode that I scripted this is that was like from Zoro the Wild Pokemon this is from me last time on Toro Pokemon Island we met all our campers we had alliances forming stalking other campers romance and skitty the challenge was a classic cliff jumping challenge which led the blasting typhlosion to a bonfire ceremony where they sent skitty riding the lapras of losery and shame home you know i kind of like to 
Shut up, Arcanine. Sorry, honey. Anyways, what will happen on this exciting episode of Total Pokemon Island? Play that intro. Alright, guys. Okay, this is nearly. Alright, guys. Let this lines be... Wait, where's Ducky? He hit Esper. He told me he wasn't going to be here today. He's on a date, I think. Dearly. Seriously? It's only the second day! Taurus. Um, yes. Unfortunately, yes, my beautiful queen. Psh. Dunks. Dearly. Well, it seems Stunky is stepping away from my alliance. Just as I planned. You know, you may not know, but I'm manipulating my own alliance member by setting uh, him in Vulpix on a date, making the couple seem not useful in challenges, skipping them, as well as bringing poor Vulpix in the process. What? <laughs> Oh god, I can't do that voice. Scene cuts to Stunky and Vulpix on a date. Stunky. Who knew Arcanine I was such a great cook? Usually TBI cooks have horrible foods, except any X challenge for some reason. And Amoga is nicer than any TBI host I've ever seen. Shiny Vulpix. Yeah, you know, this has been nice. Sitting down with you, eating a nice meal. Better than slop. Stunky, yeah. Stunky. Psh, conventional. Stunky. In the conventional. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I think I love Vulpix. I mean, she's a golden fire fox of beauty. No words can explain how much I love her. Psh, shiny Vulpix. I know we just met, but I think I'm in love with Stunky. I don't know. I guess we, when we bumped into each other and started a relationship last night, it started my feelings for Stunky. For Stunky change and become the feeling of love. But I don't know. This is going to be awkward for me. Like him and Typhlosion, Gyranitar from TPI and TBA, or beat up by a Sculpey from Michael Black for Buzz. But they all ended up together in the end. That is all I have. I don't know where the original script is. I have the original script written down on paper and there was like three. I want to say three pages of work I did on my own. And I got bored. So I wrote it. <coughs> And, yeah, so I actually just went back through my episodes, and I have some deleted scenes and stuff like that from this whole show. I even have the deleted TBI sprites, and they're, some are better than the rest. My, I do like that I changed some of the sprites for the original human sprites for them. Because I'm ending up going to be using um, some of these characters. I've already used um, Vulpix again. Vulpix was used. I do miss my picture. I do have a picture of my original um, Parlin. I'm sad that I had to get rid of that. Some of these I do have. And some of these I feel like I did horrible on. But I put these in the slide so I can use them later. And some of these were horrible. But to explain something, I'm going to do this to explain real quick. <clears throat> in my original TBI, everything was a mess. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.